There's been a brand new method discovered for hunting shiny applins in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video, which is going to make it super easy for you to go out and get your shiny apple Pokemon. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So Applin is a Pokemon that really generally only spawns in trees around the Paldea region in certain locations. It is a difficult Pokemon to get as a shiny, but in this guide today, we're going to show you a method where you can kind of force the shiny and go into AFK mode, do absolutely nothing and just let the shiny kind of spawn on itself. This method was discovered by Sukuroto Games and I have to give a massive shout out for them for sharing this method after discovering it themselves. So do check out their channel, they have a lot of great content on there. So once you're in game, what you want to do is head over to this Pokemon Center in East Province Area 3. It'll be located here on the map just next to Tang Tree Thicket. And for this method, you're going to need to have your second ride on Legendary. So the, the one that you caught in the post game, obviously this is something that you're going to have to have for this method. But once you're at this Pokemon Center here, you want to just head into the Tang Tree Thicket, which is just this entrance here. And you're going to be heading to a specific set of trees because Applin only spawns from trees majority. You'll see it kind of running around uh, on the ground and things like that, but it does spawn from trees. So that's what we're going to be making use of in this area. So you want to just make your way kind of hug tight to the, the fence line here with the, uh, the Team Star base. And it's these two trees right here that you're wanting to look at. So the entrance there and the two trees here is what, where we're going to be doing this method. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is set up a picnic and you are going to want to create a special sandwich. But before doing this, probably just put your saves on, make sure auto save is off and then come to do the magic with the sandwich. Right, when you're in sandwich, you want to come to creative mode. You can use any combination of the different recipes that we have. The salty Herba Mystica, the non-salty Herba Mystica. There'll be links in the description for you to have a look at all of them if you want. But the, the recipe that we're looking for is to set up sparkling power level 3 for dragon and that encounter power level 3 for dragon as well. We're just going to use salty and a spicy here. It's just nice and easy. And that will give us the Sparkling Power Level 3 and Encounter Power Level 3 and Title Power Level 3 for Dragon. The title, I'm not too worried about, but it would always be a nice bonus if we could get a shiny with a title as well. But this is really one of the easiest kind of methods to shiny hunting as well. You can literally just set it up and sit there and kind of wait for the shiny to pop in. So there we go, the Sparkling and the Encounter Power Level 3. Perfect, we want to just pack down our picnic and then we want to head back to those two trees that we identified earlier making sure that you have your ride your second ride pokemon or your legendary ride legendary in your party like we've got here at the front of the party and you want to just get on your other ride legendary and line yourself up to this tree you'll already see there's an apple in the tree there but to kind of knock it down you're going to have to charge at the tree so you're going to have to use the dash function on your ride legendary and bump into the tree and by doing that it should knock down the applin and then what you want to do is send out your ride legendary and then get yourself positioned around this other tree and just stand around and wait and this is basically it you'll see the applins in the tree and your ride pokemon that's out at the moment or legendary pokemon that i should call it uh, other coridon or moridon you can use either it's just knocking them out and they're gonna keep falling out the tree so it's literally just a case of waiting for the sparkly green apple to appear for you to get the the shiny from this so you've got like half an hour the reason why i say to save is because i've already done this for half an hour and i didn't get a shiny in that one so it's because you're not getting the amount of spawns that you would regularly get from doing this method where you know if you're doing it for the kind of isolated encounters where you're getting 15 spawns at a time and then despawning them and then getting another 15 at a time that's a really big amount of pokemon that you're getting in a short amount of time so the amount that you're cycling through is a really large number whereas here it is one at a time really, isn't it? So it's gonna be a bit slower, but it is a guaranteed method really. All you need to do is just have a bit of patience with it and then just sit back and literally this is all you can do. Just sit here and your other legendary will just do all the work for you. The applins will just keep falling out the tree and um, yeah, that is it. 
And of course, this method can be probably used on other Pokemon in trees. You're going to get Pine Coals, you're going to get Forest Stress, and you're going to get Slack off the spawning trees. So in certain areas, I'm sure there are uh, the, the same kind of sparkling powers that you can put on for their types. And because there'll be nothing else of that type spawning in the area, you'll be able to kind of do that as well. Spide Ops as well as another one that spawns from trees. So you're going to be able to kind of do all of these different kind of Pokemon that spawn from trees in a similar sort of fashion. And there we go, we have got it. You can see in the tree there, it is the green apple. We finally got it after a little while. So what we need to do now is just barge into this tree once more, knock it down, and then we will be able to get ourselves a our shiny apple in. There we go. And yeah, just like that, you're gonna get your shiny apple in and hopefully we can get it in a nice, we're gonna try and get it in. Oh, I've only got two Premier Balls. It's not going to work unless we get a critical catch right here, which we do. Perfect. So that is how you get Shiny Apple in. It can take a little while. That's why I advise to save before setting up your first picnic. Um, but let's see how long we've got left on this one. So we've not got that long left on our clock, but we can make the most of this time that we've got. Knock it down. Apple should drop and then we can just set our... Legendary Pokemon away. I keep calling that Ride Pokemon. It is kind of a Ride Pokemon, but it's a Legendary Pokemon as well. So, yeah, we'll just set it away and see if we can get another shiny one to spawn in. But it's nice to be able to kind of see it in the tree. I was literally, you know, do AFK doing this and I just looked up and my when my item was standing next to me i'm like why is it standing next to me i looked at the tree and then the green apple was there so if you're keeping and paying attention to it like i should have been you will be able to see the shiny spawn into the tree which is pretty nice as well so it does mean that you can kind of just sit and watch it spawn while your legendary pokemon that you've got out is just taking care of all of the um the ones that drop down so more spawn in Okay, well, that is it. Our time is up. All the other Pokemon are spawning back in. and But we did eventually get ourselves that nice Applin, which is awesome to see. And I'm really happy to get it. One of my favorite shinies from Pokemon Sword and Shield. So nice to be able to get it in this game as well. And if you do this and you want either the Tart Apple or the Sweet Apple, I believe it is, you can come to Cascarafa City. And if you come to the Delibird Presents store here, you're going to be able to buy both variations of the apple. You'll be able to find them around the tang tree thicket, though. They're just lying around on the floor. So if you're lucky enough to pick up the item drop, you'll be able to find it. But you can come to this location here and the Delhi Bird presents, which is just over the water here, over the, oh, over the bridge, whichever way you want to go. And you come in to the Delhi Bird presents store and you want to come into general goods and then you're going to be able to buy the sweet apple or the tart apple. And I can't decide which one I want to evolve it into yet. I like both forms, so I kind of would like to get another shiny one. So I might do this method again. But let me know down in the comment section which one you think I should evolve it into, either the Flapple or Appleton. And that is everything for this guide. And again, a big shout out to Sukuroto Games who discovered this method and shared it online. So thank you for allowing us to be able to share it as well. And hopefully it means a few more of you are going to be able to get that shiny apple in a lot easier in these games. Thank you for tuning in. If you have enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye bye.